Today's a Thursday, November the 10th. So there's a um a lot of videos out there and it, this is gaining more attention. The uh the fact that the Euphra- the Euphrates River is drying up. So this has been gaining more and more attention. More people are taking notice of this. And so something I, I want to point out. So if we go to uh, where it speaks of the Euphra- Euphrates drying up in Revelation. So it's a Revelation chapter 16. So chapter 16 verse uh, 12 And the sixth angel poured out his vial upon the great river Euphrates, and the water thereof was dried up, that the way of the kings of the east might be prepared. And so the Euphrates River is drying up right now. So for for those out there who think we have years and years left, 5, 10, 15, 20 years left, the Euphrates is drying up right now. And so the sixth uh, vial or bowl judgment is when the Euphrates will be fully, uh, you know, will be fully dried up completely. So if it's drying up now, I don't see how we can have 5, 10, 15, 20, 30 years left. It's drying up right now as we speak. And so... Revelation is very interesting. There's there's different there's lots of um you know interpretations. People try to figure out the order of the events. Some say it's a chronological order, some say the events are out of order. Some some say it's like a it could be like a cycle as in a a, a you know first seal, first trumpet, first bowl, a second a seal, second trumpet, second bowl and so on. I mean, Revelation, it truly is a mystery. It truly is. And so, and even I've mentioned before, um, I do believe the, some, you know, the seals, the, the horses are, uh, you know, at least some of the horses are riding right now. So I believe some of the seals likely have been broken. We see the, uh, very likely the first one could have been the global situation we see right now. So people have explained that in other videos um, over the past two to three years. Now we see the black horse, the black horse of famine. That has, uh, we can see it roaming around. But as I've mentioned before, just because the, uh, you can have the horse roaming around, but it doesn't mean it's in a full gallop, as in it's a process. And this is something I've wondered some of these in the revelation like what if a lot of these have already been broken for example seals trumpets and so forth but there's a a time lag a time delay like what if a lot of these have already been broken but there's a, a a let's say a significant time delay for whatever reason because it's very interesting that the euphrates is drying up right now and that is the that's the six uh, vile bowl. So technically, you would expect that way towards the end of the tribulation, but it's happening now. So has the the six vile or bowl has that been um, poured forth? In that there's a time delay, or it's a slow process, or is it just being prepared right now? And and then it will uh, be poured forth, you know, at the at the, you know, later on in the tribulation. Or has it, for example, been poured forth? And there's a time delay. It's a process. The river has to dry up, so it's a process. So these are questions, things we need to consider. But if you keep reading in Revelation chapter sixteen, if we keep going down, go down to verse fifteen. This is a verse that has always caught my attention. Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his, keepeth his garments, lest he walk naked and they see his shame. So this verse has kind of always stood out to me to a certain extent. Verse 15, it's red letters. So this is, this is directly Jesus' words. And so here's the thing. 
And also, there's no red letters for a few pages before and a few pages after. If you go before this verse several pages and go after several pages, this is literally like the only red letters in this this area of revelation. So it's like a, a it sticks out like a sore thumb. It sticks out. You could almost say it's out of place. And so in and, and if you read through it, this is it seems out of place. Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments, lest he walk naked and they see his shame. He comes as a thief. What does that sound like? That sounds like the rapture when the Lord truly comes as a thief. Now here's, so this is, this is, this is something that's always stood out to me because this sounds like the Lord is saying, he's, he's, you know, he's saying, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watcheth. This sounds like the rapture. So those who are watching, because there's other throughout there's other, you know, in the New Testament uh, descriptions as the Lord coming as a thief in the night and so forth, referencing the rapture. And so, but we have this lone verse towards the tell, the end of Revelation, right after the sixth vial or bowl is poured forth, and yet it seems to reference the rapture. This seems out of place. So the other, now it could also reference the his second coming, because if we do go to verse 16, it says he gathered them together into a place called in the Hebrew tongue Armageddon. So the preparation for the battle of Armageddon, the Lord's second coming, where he comes in the clouds with the, the armies of heaven and rages war on the Antichrist and, you know, his armies. So this could potentially reference the second coming but it the word in has always stood it seems kind of out of place to me for the second coming i mean i guess yes the second coming will you could say will be a you know come as a thief because those who are serving the beast worshiping the antichrist serving the beast system they'll have no clue that it's the Lord. Like I, I mentioned before, they'll probably be telling them that these are bad aliens and we have to wage war against the bad aliens. They'll pass off the, the Lord's second coming as a uh, invasion of the bad aliens, the continued battle throughout the tribulation. But the thing is, he comes as a thief. Blessed is he is that watcheth. So this, I mean, in at this point in the tribulation, there would be very few people, uh, Christians still there. Most would have probably been martyred by this point. And he he that watcheth and keepeth his garments, lest he walk naked and see his shame. So this sounds more like the rapture. So this is always, verse has stood out as almost out of place. It seems to, you could say, reference the rapture. Um, and so this is very interesting because this is right after... Uh, so that's verse 15. So that's right after verse 12, which describes that Euphrates drying up. So we see the Euphrates drying up right now. And just a few verses down is a verse that appears, verse 15 appears to describe the rapture. And so if we keep going forward, see, this is interesting. So if we go to chapter 17, so that was, that was chapter 16. If we go to chapter 17, it's the woman on the beast. I will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon many waters. So mystery Babylon. So this is describing America, the judgment on mystery Babylon. And then if we go to chapter 18, the desolation of Babylon. Babylon, the greatest fallen is fallen. Habitation of devils. So. So 17, chapter 17 and 18 describe the destruction of Babylon, which is uh, America. And then chapter 19 is the marriage supper of the Lamb. But this is very interesting because, so chapter 16, verse 12, the sixth bowl, the Euphrates drying up, and that is happening right now. And just a few verses down is a verse that appears to describe almost, you can say, the rapture. And then right soon after this is the start of a chapter uh, 17. 
and then chapter 18, which described the destruction of America. So we can see this actually appears to be taking place right now. The Euphrates is drying up. We are in the verge of the rapture. And then following the rapture, very soon after, I believe, you will, you will have the destruction of America. Which would fit with that timeline. Now, I know there's other people... Now, the, if you read this literally, though, it would you would be under the impression that the destruction of America should basically be towards the tail end of the tribulation. And see, and that's something I've always wondered, too. A lot of people have been shown in dreams and visions that the rapture happens right around when America is destroyed. But then yet, if we re take Revelation more literally, it would appear America would be destroyed towards the end of the tell end of the tribulation or later into it but then if you i mean if you look right now though the euphrates is drying up and then a few verses down it appears to be a verse about the rapture verse 15 i come as a thief blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments lest he walk naked and they see his shame so i don't know this is some stuff to consider i wanted to point this out because i noticed there's a lot of traction uh, being picked up about the euphrates drying up where a lot of people are picking up on this and it's, it's gaining attention. And um, so that verse really, uh, you know, that 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 verse has always kind of almost stood out of place to me, a verse of 15. And we can see the, uh, you know, the events lining up right now. But then yet some would argue this should take, for example, that America should be destroyed towards the later end of the tribulation. So this is just some stuff to consider. A God bless in the name of Jesus Christ.